Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to talk to you about the new KidOps Bevel and how twice as fast it is and how easy it is to use. So let's get started. Okay, so I took the liberty of slaying this cube already, and I used KidOps and the medium cutters, and I came up with this design for this demonstration purpose. Now the UV angle limit, which is 30, and the UV island margin, 0.05, are the main two things you want to set up for unwrap. So the normals, my auto smooth is 60, so the UV angle limit must match that. So I'll set that to 60. The island margin, I'm going to do 0.03, and if I had any modifiers, I'd hit apply modifiers here, and they would apply, but then, I'm, then UV unwrap. So I'm just going to UV unwrap. I'm going to select all. I'm going to look at my island margin. That looks pretty good. I could get it tighter, but for this demonstration, that looks pretty good for me. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go back to my layout and I'm going to go ahead and set my first adjust, adjust my bevel to 0.02 and I'm going to bake it at 4K. And I'm doing actually the normal bevel and I'm going to go ahead and bake that normal. Okay, then I'm going to generate the material and then pack the modified images. Then I'm going to go to Worn Bevel. and you, Normally you double this, but I'm just going to almost double it. And I'm also going to bake this at 4K. I'm going to bake the mask. Now this is going to bake the Worn Bevel mask. Also generate material and pack the modified images and there you go and right off the bat that is a really sweet serious looking bevel it's got some nice damage it looks good it looks used very nice now if you wanted to change the bevel you can go down to the CW worn edge right here this mask and it's got four adjustments and basically if you just set them and adjust them and tweak them you'll see the differences um, of the bevel and the shape and the form that it gives it and basically it's up to you you can just set it up to where you want to be and just mess around with it until you like the, you like the result for you um, now the scratch bright, brightness at the end here if you just zero that out that's perfectly fine you won't even have a bevel but you have to add that to put the bevel in so that looks pretty good I mean you adjust it to your preference and to the way you like it and that's fine with you so I like the way this looks so that's cool the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new material and I'm just gonna add a, a regular dark mat and I'm gonna slide this over and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have Smudger Pro and I'm gonna go down here and I'm just gonna hit it with a Smudger Pro well used automatic setup and I'm just going to click on that and as you can see it gave it a well used you know it's dusted and scratched up and uh, it's got a weathery look so it looks kind of cool so I'm going to go over here and adjust these settings and uh, basically it's up to preference the user himself and you just tweak it to, way, to the way you like it and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the color here to make it look more like a factory machine like the kind of yellowish yeah that looks cool once I'm happy with that the way you apply that is you would click onto your your piece of bevel and then go back to bevel and then you're gonna select under the normal bevel you're gonna select the new material that I made and generate material and there you go isn't that cool and so fast too so now you have the whole bevel look on that one and that looks fantastic. You got the dirt, the grime, scratches, and the bevel. However, the chrome bevel looks really clean and, and sharp. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this one out of the way. And I'm going to go add another material. This time we're going to add a metal. And I'm just going to add a steel shiny. <clears throat> and let's take a look at this one and yeah that's exactly really cool so I'm gonna go over to the smudger pro as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the same well used effect and use the automatic setup 
However, this time I'm not going to adjust it. Wow, look at that. That looks really cool. So I'm going to use that the way it is. So the way you apply that is go back to bevel, select it, and then select the worn bevel, and then select your steel shiny. And then you generate material. Once that comes in, now you should have all the defects in the bevel as well. Um, and as you can see, that's really cool. And that's 4K. So you can even go higher. I was just for demonstration, I did 4K, but it, it can get 8K. So I'm going to get rid of these materials here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this looks really good to me. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a decal. And I'm just going to throw, I guess, one of these decals on the side of it. <clears throat> Size it up. And uh, yeah, it looks kind of cool. Um, let's change the color of it. First of all, I'm going to set the erosion on it to like 0.6 so it looks old. Then I'll change the color to like more of an orangey. Um, okay, it's got to take the emission off. And then uh, that's also still too bright. So I'm going to go back and uh, let's change this down a little bit like this. And yeah, something like that. It looks a lot better to me. So. <laughs> I'm going to move this down. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to add a floor. And I will put on a nice smooth texture on it right now. And let's see what we got here. Um, let's go ahead and add some lights. I'm going to throw an area light on top. Um, I'm in my dev mode, so I'm going to turn my scene light and scene world on. I'm going to put this to 150. Add another light. I'm going to do a point move that to the side set that to about 200 let's get some uh, composition let's change the floor to like the same color as the actual yellow yeah that looks really cool so let's get the composition on here right a little bit um, that looks cool let's add a camera and I'm going to view camera to view and then I'm going to set this up in the viewport and let's just see, get this set up here. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, this is like looking good. Okay, final light adjustments. Getting some light on there. So I like this. So yeah, I'm gonna set this up to 800 render and I'm gonna go ahead and render this. And yeah, man, for 4K, that looks really good. The bevels and the colors look really good. Excellent, man, really sharp. Um, and after some adjustments in Photoshop, uh, you can get a really good look at this picture. And it's really, really good looking. Um, very simple, like I said, and I hope you liked the video. And um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.